Hi, I'm Loz, um, also known as DC from Bad Sandwich, uh, Daddy Cool. Uh, some people have often asked me about my style and my bass lines, uh, in particular this song Dark Squid, which I'm going to show you a few parts from. Um, if you don't know the song, it's on our MySpace, it's uh, myspace.com forward slash Bad Sandwich UK. Uh, but don't worry, it's not really a formal lesson as such, it's just me merely showing you a few techniques and just how to implement them in the context of the song. Right. Uh, the first part of the song is the intro and it's also the link that pastes a lot of the song together. Um, it's a lot of hammering on, it's good for your fretting hands, good action for that. And it basically it goes like this. It's pretty quick, blink and you'll miss it. But um, it's really quite simple. It's simply using one finger for all of this. That's just, you're focusing mainly on just plucking the right note. None of this fancy stuff, just one finger. And uh, the notes are as such. sliding up there, forming a bar, and just get faster and faster and faster, it's a good exercise for your fingers as well, and that's essentially the intro and the link. Right, now we're going to move on to the main riff of Dark Squid, which is the exciting bit, really. Um, you're going to be using a lot of pop slap technique, which you've probably picked up from other tutorials on the internet. Um, what I'll do is I'll play along to it and then I'll, I'll show you where it's done. So essentially, that's the main riff. Um, I'm not going to really show you how to play it, I'm just going to show you the techniques that I do in it. But essentially using your basic pop slap technique, so it's using your thumb and your finger. For a slap, you're going to be hitting down on the string and letting it ring. You don't want to... not muting it just yet, but there's going to be some of that coming up. So essentially you're hitting the first note entirely by thumb, because you want the rumbly sound of... comes your slapping technique, uh, your popping technique, sorry, and you're <coughs> picking the string up, <coughs> twacking it down on the fretboard so it makes a <coughs> really nice <coughs> ding sound, and you put the two together, <coughs> and you're getting a nice pop slap because that's your basic, <coughs> just sort of smearing it about a bit. So then we're moving on to using this hand for making some click sounds. Now we're going to start hitting the strings but not actually focusing on getting any kind of sound out other than <coughs> Clip sounds rubbish on its own, but in a song it helps you pace it and time it and get it all right. So we're going to go from this, and then we're going to add, which is basically pop, fretboard, hand, thumb, whatever you want to just bash that. I'll do it slow for you. Add the last note. That's the main part you want to focus on. Now the bit at the end of the main riff is sounds really mental and complex, but it is essentially just that that you're going to be sliding down. Add the little thumb at the end there, a little cheeky one. So main things to pick up from that. Thumb for the growls pop for the, the twang and filling in the space with that. Another thing I also do though, to bear in mind, is rather than hitting down on the strings to get a sound, you, wanna, you can pick them up with a mute, but not actually worrying about a note. Just fills in the space, but you're not getting a note. And that's essentially how the, the first part of the main riff is put together. Right, we're going to move on to the chorus of Dark Squid now. Um, it's got very similar techniques to the main, but it's not quite as ferocious and you're not filling in all the space, but you're going to be putting in some ugly notes that make it sound dirty. You're also going to be using your thumb in a slightly different way. So I'll, I'll play along to it now and then we'll take it to pieces. <laughs> That's 
essentially the chorus. So first of all, you're going to be using your thumb in a brand new way. Well, not brand new, but different to the last verse. Um, essentially, you're going to be forming a bar, and you want to strum down on the strings, but you only want to hit the two middle strings. Try not to get them all because it sounds really disgusting and it's not even dirty. It's bad. So you want to get those two. You're not bouncing up back off of it, you're just literally rubbing them gently. So we've got that. That's literally the first part, that's where it hits you in the face. Um, so then you've got a hammer on straight after. You're still all using your thumb because you've got to think about the dynamics. You've got the, the loudness and then you've got the, the twang, which is normally using your fingers for the pop motion. Which comes in there. And then we're going to add the dirty note, which is just an open, and you can be a real showman with this if you want. Really hitting it. So you're putting in that note, which is right, but sounds a bit nasty. And you're going to be putting the which is percussion without notes, once again. I'm using two fingers there to pop this bit. You're getting the same chord sound as this, but it's more in your face there, it's more percussive, and it hits you like that. And that's essentially how the chorus is put together. Also, for the second part, you're going to be using your thumb, rather than coming up with the popping sound, going all the way up, the second half of the chorus goes back down, so you're going to be thinking about using your thumb, because you want the growly sound. And it's getting going really low. And it's got that grunt. So you mix the two, chop and change, uh, do what you like with it really, and that's essentially how the chorus ebbs and flows. Right, uh, finally we're going to go into the heavy bit, which happens after the uh, rap breakdown, which uh, basically uses two notes, and then a bit of rapping. Um, it brings in all the pop and slap techniques from earlier, makes it really riotously heavy, and everyone goes mental. What I'll do now is I'll play it, and then I'll deconstruct it, just like the last ones. <laughs> So like I said, you're going to be using the two notes from the rap. Dead simple, but you're going to be hitting them with your thumb to get the low growl, the dynamics have got to work. Now we're going to be using two open notes that sound nasty as hell basically, but it's really good. And then we add the notes at the end. So it goes like this, I'll do it slow so you can see how it works. stuff to fill in the space there because every note counts in this you want it loud you want it hard you want it absolutely mental and besides a lot of the space is filled up by the drums and the guitar anyway so the normal speed that'll be and that's basically the heavy bit well that's it from me thanks for watching uh, feel free to drop us a line on the MySpace. Uh, you can hear the full version of Dark Squid there, plus some others. And I hope to catch you at a gig soon. See you later.